वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टू वन मोर सेशन ऑफ योर पॉलीमर चैप्टर सो इन पॉलीमर चैप्टर वी हैव स्टडीड एडिशन पॉलीमर्स वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट कंडेंसेशन पॉलीमर एग्जांपल्स एंड आई टॉट यू अबाउट टू टाइप्स ऑफ रेजिन्स वन वाज बेकलाइट फॉर्मेल्डिहाइड रेजिन दैट इज व्हिच इज फॉर्मड व्हिच फॉर्म्स अ स्ट्रेट चेन देन स्ट्रेट चेन पॉलीमर देन वी कॉल इट एज नोवलॉक इफ इट इज अ क्रॉस लिंक पॉलीमर देन वी कॉल इट एज बेकलाइट देन वी हैव आल्सो लर्नड अबाउट फिनॉल फॉर्मेल्डिहाइड रेजिन सो लेट्स कम बैक एंड स्टार्ट विद अ फ्रेश टॉपिक दैट इज रबर so for your grade uh, 12th you are going to learn about two types of rubbers one would be natural rubber as well as synthetic rubbers so you have the structures of natural rubbers to be learned and synthetic rubbers also to be learned na right? like neoprene we'll be doing all those so basically whenever rubber concept is given to you try to start your answer if they ask you what is natural rubber right first try to write your answer starting with the nature of its rubber what is actually a rubber when you try to stretch it it stretches isn't it that is why we call rubbers as they belong they come under a category called elastomers where you can stretch them when you stretch and release they retain the original uh, structure so what are rubbers rubbers are basically rubbers are elastomers right as i said which can be stretched and are held by weak intermolecular forces weak intermolecular forces or if i have to say van der waals force of attraction van der waals forces of attraction right now so because of this they retain back their uh, structure done now what is the source of where do we get this natural rubber so i'm speaking basically about rubber in that i'm talking about natural rubber so later i'll be doing synthetic rubber so in this natural rubber we very well know we obtain it from the latex of the rubber tree so let us write the source this would be the definition then when i have to write the source done it is from latex of the rubber tree this is also fine but basically this is next the structure is important for us so when i have to write the structure or if they ask me what is the formula for rubber natural rubber important you have to write it is basically or we write it as 2 methyl 13 butadiene okay let us write the formula first formula is 2 hyphen methyl 1,3 but a diene. So the many elements here. Let us write. So first of all, what is the parent atom? Parent atom is but. So let us write but. One, two, three, four. But. So in first position and third position, there are dienes. Means there are dienes two. E means double bond. So if I start numbering one, two, three, four. So if first position and third. So one and three. Butadiene. So they said two methyl. So in the second carbon, there is a methyl group. This is a methyl group. Now fill in all the hydrogens. So CH two. This there is no hydrogen because already four valencies are satisfied. One, two, three. Here there is one hydrogen. Here two hydrogens. This is called your natural rubber. So basically, when I have to speak about natural rubber, when I go into the structure, we call them other than two methyl one three butadiene. We also call the structure as cis poly isoprene units okay poly isoprene units what is this basically when i say cis cis means on the same side poly means many isoprene units means if they have five carbon atoms linked then it is called isoprene once again cis on the same side poly means many isoprene means five carbon chains see i am writing the same um, structure in this way where you are going to form the polymer just observe carefully you have the ch2 isn't it ch2 double bond look here now ch2 now c single bond or c double bond c now you have one ch2 here one more ch2 here okay yeah and one side there is one hydrogen here done there is one ch2 now see here 1 2 3 4 5 there is a five carbon chain like this we call isoprene unit so what happens one isoprene unit of yeah links with the other isoprene units from ch2 bond now the h1 from ch2 so this is going to link with one more ch2 
now this is again joined with c double bond c now ch2 now h and okay we will write like this also not a problem yes now you you have to be careful what did i say cis isomer now cis see here same side so here also if i have to say speak this is also same side now what happens cis cis poly isoprene now if i have to link here now observe from ch2 again it's going to link with one more ch2 this again from c double bond c h ch2 and ch2 so in this way this is going to form an isoprene unit uh, poly isoprene unit with all the cis bonds cis here cis here cis here so this is also called as cis poly isoprene these two are the names you can just put it in box for rubber natural rubber this is the structure representation now when i have to see the structure of natural rubber what are you finding basically it is spirally coiled right it's spirally coiled so i can that is why i uh, i when i apply certain force elastic force it will stretch and when i release it will again go back Sp so spirally coiled and it acts as and same thing i'm writing here elastomer yes done so i already wrote what are the weak forces of attraction that is van der waals forces of attraction are existing in them done so uh, that because of this spirally coiled and uh, this one i can say this particular thing it will you know when i apply certain amount of temperature on this it's either going to become soft or it's going to become brittle right so this nature this nature is affected by temperature we will see what is the temperature so now because of this particular concept we are going to learn one more in uh, extension concept called vulcanization of rubber so let's come back and read or learn what is the process of vulcanization <laughs>